So to start your design system, you can create a brand new document and change the name here, saving it as a cloud document or locally if you want to. Now to centrally manage stored assets like colors, gradients, character or textiles, icons, graphics, and other reusable objects that you'll use in your designed experiences, you can add them to the Assets panel. You can open the Assets panel down here by clicking this icon. Now the Assets panel will become an integral part of your design system since it'll become a central repository that'll make it easier for you and your team to build your products from. When you build your design system, Saved colors, character styles, and components will live in this panel. Now, with a new document, the Assets panel is empty. With a completed design system document open to show you what it looks like, you can see how colors, textiles, called character styles, and reusable components like icons and buttons are stored. Now, the content is organized by type and can easily be sorted in different views, as well as searched, maybe to show all the content associated with a specific name, or like you see here, only showing the components, for instance. Now there are a variety of ways for saving content like a color in the assets panel. One way is to click the plus in the correct category. When you save an asset, they can be renamed, edited, and more. When working with assets, you can also quickly find assets on the canvas. To see where an asset's been used, select that asset in the assets panel. You can right click and select highlight on canvas. Wherever the asset is applied or is placed on the canvas, the asset is highlighted. You can also hover over an asset in the panel here to see how many instances are being used. Now this completed design system actually has some missing fonts. When your XD document contains fonts that are missing from your machine, you'll see them listed in the missing fonts section of the assets panel. This allows you to highlight them on the canvas and you can assess their use in your design and replace them with a different font. For missing fonts that are available in the Adobe Fonts Library, XD automatically activates them to deliver a seamless user experience. Okay, with an understanding of the Assets panel and generally how it works, let's jump in to adding assets of our own.